European stock markets fall for a third straight day. UK factory orders hit a 29-year high. Oil prices, they're still hovering around that seven-month low. And the British Prime Minister, she's in Brussels for her first summit since the election. I'm Katie Pilbeam. This is Daily FX. Let's have a look at the numbers. And as you can see, it's looking pretty uh, dire, especially here in London. We're down half a percent there in negative territory. It's flat in Germany and France is around a quarter of a percent up. Well, much of these declines are due to the price of oil damaging investors' appetite for energy stocks. So as we know, oil prices are hovering near that seven-month low right now. That's where they hit overnight. About worries about a supply glut and falling demands. Well, if we look at the chart, we'll be able to see that this, this bearish trend has shown little signs of letting up, really. But, but given the recent move lower and the current consolidation, there is a chance we could see a short term bounce. Now, whether that happens or not remains to be seen. But as long as the price stays below what it is now, uh, below 46.79, further downside seems likely. So at the moment, it's 45.35. Well, crude has dropped around 20% since February, really erasing all of those gains that were sparked by OPEC's decision to cut production at the end of last year. All right, let's move on to Britain's manufacturing because it's now enjoying its best month for new orders since the summer of 1988. Well, this is according to the official figures from the Confederation of British Industry. Now, 27% of manufacturers reported total order books to be above normal, and 12% said they were below normal. So all of this equates to a gain of plus 16%, and that is the highest in nearly three decades. Well, in Europe, the two-day European summit, it has kicked off and uh, Brexit is expected to be at the forefront as well as other themes as well, including terrorism, security, globalisation and climate change too. Now, Theresa May, she will address the summit of EU leaders to set out her Brexit plans. Now, what we're most interested in this week is the emergence of a deal between her party, the Conservatives, and the Democratic Unionist Party, because we're yet to kind of get any meat on the bones as to what's going to happen with these two parties, which we know kind of have to team up. Now, I want to look at Sterling if we can. Because this week, it's been all over the place. It's been extremely sensitive to politics, as well as a more hawkish tone that we had from the Bank of England's chief economist on Wednesday. We saw that play out on the charts. Well, in the corporate world, then, there's a big mover and shaker today, and it's Imagination Technologies. It is to go on sale. And this is after a dispute with its biggest customer, Apple. Well, if we look, the share price has been soaring as a response to this. It's now up 16.6%. Right, I want to look ahead to Friday and just give you the lowdown as to what is going on because, of course, it's the 23rd. It's the 23rd of June. That marks the one year anniversary since the UK voted to leave the EU. And of course, the negotiations are getting underway just now. But in terms of economic data, we've got France's GDP growth rate. We've got expectations of 0.4% for this one here. Uh, we've also got the Eurozone PMI numbers as well due to come in, also coming in from Germany and France and the US too. Uh, Canada's PMI data, one of the crucial ones to trade though will be those Baker Hughes oil rig count numbers because last week we saw the rig count rise by six to 747 marking the 22nd week of rises and it was the highest rise uh, since the week of April the 10th 2015 so that's really playing into the oil price and it goes back to my top story uh, in terms of corporate reports very quiet on the ground but we do have Black B reporting as well. Uh, that's it from me. Thank you very much indeed. Let's have one last look at the numbers, and it's still looking pretty lackluster, as you can see just now. This is what it looks like as we head into 2 o'clock in the afternoon this Thursday. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.